There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. sisters in Christ. Uh, hopefully this video has kind of been uplifting and encouraging. Um, I just want to read, I used this verse in the video that we just did. Uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. And people like to stop there, okay? 
the whole point of the video was I was tempted today, so I didn't just, you know, decide I'm going to do a video and I was actually tempted today. It was a very gloomy day. Everything was wet as can be outside. It's good for the garden, but I couldn't do any yard work, hillside work. Uh, you try cutting stuff that's wet as can be, um, mainly grass, but just stuff that's very wet. Um, it's, sometimes it can be a pain in the butt and sometimes you don't get everything. So I'm sitting there, you know, I did all my morning stuff. I did uh, like everything I said in the video and I started getting tempted. Not hardcore, but I started getting tempted and the Lord's like, he just put it in my head and said, hey, what about this? You know how you get ideas? It's not mine. You think it's yours, but it's not mine. Uh, God gave me the idea. But let's keep reading verse 14. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. It says God won't, won't tempt you above that ye are able, but it tells you right here you're to flee from idolatry. Okay? There's a lot of people that have been attacking me for doing the video about video games, You're still playing video games, and saying that at bottom line, if it's not something you can give God glory in and thanks in, um, you shouldn't be doing it. Even if the, you don't think it's really a sin, even though you can prove in a heartbeat that most video games, if not all of them, are sinful. They have double meanings. And like I said, I, I'm not going to go back in it. You want to watch the video, watch the video. Still playing video games, question mark. Um, but the thing is, is when we have certain sins, everybody has their things that they are tempted with. I'm not tempted anymore with alcohol. I got into alcohol and got drunk a few times in the military, but let's say cigarettes. I'm not tempted by cigarettes. Uh, there's a lot of things that I'm not tempted by. Uh, that's, a, I mean, that it's a big temptation, like I struggle with it hardcore. Everybody has their thing they struggle with. For me, it's movies, TV shows, and video games. And, and the biggest time of the year that I struggle with it is, well, any time, but the biggest time of the year is the winter time. We get a lot of rain here. And you're stuck indoors. So you can, I can organize the house only so many times and clean one room every, every day, um, do so many Bible studies. I love Bible studies. And I can get through most of the days, but every so often I get hit hard saying, you know, get tempted, it's my computer over here, tempted to do things that I know I'm not supposed to, movies, TV shows, video games. And it'll get so bad sometimes because I'm not immune to temptation. I'm not above temptation. Uh, I get tempted just like you do, brothers and sisters in Christ. And I'll jump in the truck, whether it's pouring down rain or sprinkling, I'll get into the truck and I'll drive into town. There's a couple spots you can park and you're right next to the ocean and one of them you're at an angle so sometimes you're at an angle I can crack the window and if it's sprinkling I can look out and still see the ocean if it's pouring down rain I can crack the window and you can hear the ocean and I'll take my tablet and I'll listen to a Bible study I've got Alexander Scorby reading the Bible all of it on there King James Bible God's perfect written word and I'll sit out there for a couple of hours. I'll get away from what's tempting me, the computer. Because the computer, is t the video games is what tempted me. There's lots of time I don't have any temptation. I can be on here doing Bible studies. I can be putting videos together, um, watching Bible studies. But when I am tempted by what used to be idolatry in my lost life, my professing Christian life, when it gets bad, flee it. Get away from it. When you have temptation, and it just starts hitting you so hard, don't just sit there going, Lord, Lord, I'm, I'm being tempted, Lord, I'm being tempted, and don't do anything, okay? Do a Bible study, okay? But mainly, if you can do a Bible study like I did today, but if it starts hitting you, flee from that temptation. Flee from that idolatry and that you used to have in your lost life, and go spend time with the Lord, okay? If it's pouring down rain, and this also works when you're getting stressed out by the world, the lost world, the vexation. You're married for those that we're praying for that are in a war zone, as, as a brother in Christ said. They're married to lost people. Get in the truck, get in the car, get in what a vehicle you have, and go for a drive. Okay, listen to some hymns, sing some hymns. Um, go to a park. If it's pouring down rain, still go to a park. You know, park somewhere and listen to a Bible study in the car. Listen to Alexander Scorby reading the Bible, you know. Uh, go for a walk, you know, 
bike ride. There's things you can do to get away from that temptation. There's things you can do to get away from that stress in your life. Um, always spend time with the Lord. Uh, I do memory verse cards. When I go for walks, I talk with the Lord. When I go to walk on the beach, I always carry a pack of uh, memory verses in my back pocket. Um, gospel tracts. I was able to give a gospel tract to a couple um, on the beach when I was there. Um, I left gospel tracts all through town. Um, and then leaving, like I said, I was being tempted. This is a testimony. I was being tempted. And as I was driving out trying to do some of the video recording, and I went past the mailbox and I slowed down right next to my mailbox and I was like, it's Sunday, there's no mail. But I didn't check it Saturday and I don't think I checked it Friday. So I didn't check it Friday or Saturday and I'm like, I was going to go to the beach, I was going to do these videos, spend some time on the beach with the Lord, with my dog Victoria, and then I had to go into town to get three items. A bag of chips, some ground beef, and I had to get... And that's from Fred Myers. But then I have to also go by Ace Hardware and I gotta get those little packets that I have a a sump. Um, it's for my brain freezes sometimes. Sewage. I got a sewage uh, sump tank. And every month you're supposed to put these little packets in it to help build the enzymes, if I can say it right, I still can't say it right. It helps break everything down and flush it out. Um, so I needed some from Ace. So I was like, Lord's like, hey, you're already out here. Go ahead and check it. So I checked the mailbox. And when I opened it up, I got my monthly, because I signed up for those memberships at Ace, I got my monthly card that instead of having just five bucks, I had two five bucks cards. It's like 10 bucks credit. So I went there and bought that and a couple other things, and I didn't have to spend any money. There's amazing blessings in small things, okay? Yes, ten bucks isn't much, but the the what was it the six or seven dollars I was going to spend on that? I ended up getting a Subway sandwich. Um, people are probably going to get on to me for that. It's fast food. It's fast food. It's Subway. Um, everything is is fresh, you know. But there's blessings. There's blessings everywhere. Okay. Now, when I gave a hard time, people started fighting me on the fast food stuff too. Uh, I just got to say this real quick, just kick it real quick. I've seen videos and I've talked to people who've worked fast food before. They've worked at Taco Bell, they've worked at McDonald's, all these fast food places, KFC, all these fast food places, and a lot of people that work there, that quit, or still working there, would tell you that now that they've worked there and they've seen what's going on behind you know, where all the cooking and preparation go and where the stuff is coming from and what's in the food, they wouldn't dare eat there. They won't ever eat there. And someone giving me a hard time for going to a Subway where it's vegetables and, and meat and the bread's cooked fresh every day. I'm not against going out to eat, okay? For Because uh, I don't want people to think I'm a hypocrite. I'm, I'm not against going out to eat. I'm just against the... You know, I hardly ever go out to eat. The only place to really grab anything anymore is Subway. When I go to the beach, walk on the beach on the way home, I used to grab Subway every once in a while. But uh, for the most part, I really don't go out to eat. But if you're going to go out to eat, there's a lot of places that are still healthy. But fast food is not one of them. There's a lot of mom and pa stores. One place I went to when I do laundry every month. And I have to do it downtown so I can save water so I don't go out run out of water especially now that I'm doing a garden and there's a place right next to it where it's a mom and pa restaurant you can get a hamburger but the meat is local beef it's fresh and she makes she cooks everything fresh okay uh, that's healthy that's good for you but like I said these fast food places are not good for you so temptation flee temptation okay? God will give you the strength. God will give you something to do. He'll have a door. He'll open a door for you to get out of that. So I hope this has been encouraging. My job, my job, my hope and my wish and my working for the Lord, one of the parts of this ministry was words have meaning and to encourage the brethren. Okay, um, We're all part of the ministry of reconciliation. So yes, part of this ministry is also to preach the gospel, to stand by the gospel, to try to get false converts to truly get saved, lost people out there in false religions to truly get saved, uh, people who just reject Jesus Christ, period, to 
get saved. Okay. But I really wanted to encourage the brethren. So, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and my love for you in Christ Jesus. Thank you for watching.